Hello guys, a lovely welcome to my channel. My name is Clary and I make DIY videos with polymer clay, brushing and more. For today's video, I'm going to make these beautiful earrings with polymer clay. I'm using Sculpey Primo. This is a mint color. Beautiful, by the way. I started using polymer clay not too long ago and let me tell you, I love it. There are so many things that you can do with polymer clay and new techniques every day that I'm learning. So I hope you follow me through this journey. What I'm doing right now is I'm passing the clay through the pasta maker so it can get a nice texture. It also called conditioning the clay. With a machine, you can make it thin or thick, however you want. You can make and create new colors by passing the clay through this machine. And you can see some that I made on my shorts videos. Now I'm using a Q-tip with acetone so you can take the dust out. I'm gonna pass it again through the machine and make sure that it doesn't have any dust. I'm gonna choose from these acrylic paints to make a unique design. These are the colors that I want the earrings to have. Just get created and choose any color that you want. I believe these colors will look great over the mint lab. If you haven't checked my short videos, go ahead and do so. And if you can like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And we're gonna grab our brush. The main color I'm gonna use is pink and it's so beautiful. I'm going to spread the colors all over it. While I'm painting the slab, I'm gonna speed up the video because I'm gonna be doing the same thing over and over with all the colors that I have here. This pattern that I'm making right here, it's called watercolor technique. Thank you so much for the lady that gave me the name of this pattern. If you know it with another name, be more than welcome to write it down in the comments. So let's do the same thing with the yellow. I really like pink and yellow together so i'm putting it one under the other one and then i'm gonna pass another layer of the pink over so it can be like two shades of pink one darker and a lighter one and now the blue if there's other colors that you want to see me trying please let me know and i will definitely do it Polymer clay is so cool that you can mix it with resin, paint, so many things you can do. So we are almost done with all the colors. This is actually a challenge for me. It's my first time trying polymer clay with paint. But I'm really liking the process. I think I will be making more of these with different colors. Remember to watch my short videos and my other social media. And now for the last touch, I'm gonna sprinkle some glitter. Please let me know what you think so far. For me, glitter gives every piece a perfect touch. I can definitely put glitter on everything that I make. Let's cut the polymer clay slab into the shape that you want your earrings to be. This is a simple one. And now I'm cutting the circles that are gonna go on top of the other shape. I like to know every details. So if you will know the name of this shape that I'm using right now, please let me know. And right here is one of the best sensations to peel off the clay. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's a challenge, but it's fun. <laughs> Here we go, almost there. Nothing is impossible. This is so satisfying, believe me. Okay, now that that is done, I'm gonna transfer it to my paper because this is ready to be baked. Make sure to follow the instructions on your polymer clay. After baked and cool down, I'm gonna buff my pieces. Look 
how clean this Dremel works. Okay, last piece. And now I'm gonna seal it with UV resin. Please make sure you use gloves while using resin. Don't be like me and use your gloves. And it's also recommended to use a face mask. Resins are toxic. And be safe, please. Cure it under the UV light. Wow, look at this, so beautiful and shiny. I'm so proud. This is a great tip. Take a old box to make the holes on your pieces because you don't want to mess up your table. We are almost done. Nice, nice. And let's keep going through all of it. Let's clean the dust from it and glue the post to the stub. There are different ways that you can put this together. You can use the same polymer clay or you can use glue as I'm using it right now. And just an extra touch, I'm going to use the UV resin again to seal it. Remember to use gloves. And we do this to all of them and put them under the UV light again. And now that it's done, let's put our pieces together. I'm not being sponsored for anything that I'm using in this video, but if you want to know where I get my stuff or what I'm using, please let me know. So this is the look of my earrings. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for your time. I'm super happy to share this experience with you. Till next time.